Connected 2045 is a four-part speaker series that focuses on the major transportation issues that impact our area now and in the future. Here with us is Sean Light, Vice President of CBB Transportation and Adjunct Professor for Washington University, and also Shay Schindler, Transportation Planner for East West Gateway. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So tell us, okay, what is your role with the whole transportation plan? What are you, you going to do, Shay? Sure. So I'm a transportation planner at East West Gateway Council, okay. and we're in charge of developing a plan that will kind of set the priorities for our transportation system over the next 30 years. Okay. So with this plan, we really help shape the future of all the major investments in our region. So a lot of people don't realize, but um, big projects like the new Mississippi River Bridge that just opened wow. have actually been in the planning phases for several decades. I think they started planning that in the 1990s. Who knew? I never knew that. <laughs> right. So the plan is kind of exciting because we, um, as a region, get to decide what the next several decades of major projects in the region will Hence be. Hence 2045. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Okay, and Sean, what do you bring? And I'm a, a local transportation professional. Okay. Um, so in two areas I get involved. One, we get involved in a lot of local projects, mm -hmm. um, and we can talk about some of those as we go. And the other, as an adjunct um, with Washington University, I help uh, train kind of the young upcoming workforce in, uh, in the engineering community. Okay, so what do we have to look forward to with transportation? Will we be flying like the Jetsons? What, like, what is it gonna be like? <laughs> well, that's actually what we get to decide right now. It's kind of exciting. So in the past, a lot of these plans have really focused on um, building highways and building bridges, and the St. Louis region really has a great um, interstate system. Okay. So in the future, we'll really wanna focus on preserving what we already have, but it's kind of ex an exciting time in transportation because now we're really getting to start um, to look at the future and say, you know, do we want to invest more in transit? Transit and really bolster our transit system, or do we really want to invest more in bike and pedestrian um, infrastructure like the Great Rivers Greenway um, mm -hmm. ring that they're building around the region? So it's kind of um, it's an exciting time. It's kind of a turning point in transportation, and so that's really what the next Long Range Plan aims to get at: is what uh, the region envisions as our future transportation system. What are other cities doing? Like, are, is St. Louis above or behind, and how does that work out? Yeah, so nationally, um, we're really seeing this trend towards a more balanced transportation system. What does that mean? And what that means is that as we've built out a lot of our roads in, over the past 50 years, they've mm -hmm. really been focused on cars and automobiles. Um, and you see a lot of evidence of that with a lot of our facilities in the St. Louis region. And what we're trying to do um, on a national basis, and a lot of that here, is create better places for pedestrians, create opportunities for people to ride their bike to the store, to ride their bike to work, provide better transit opportunities. So it's really trying to rebalance that system and make sure that we've got facilities for, for all users to use. Wow. And we've seen that recently um, with the Complete Streets Ordinance that um, the city already has in place, but um, St. or St. Louis County passed this year that really uh, has them take a look at their facilities as they're doing improvements and making sure that they're accommodating bicycles, pedestrians, and transit to, to the extent that need to be done. Will there be things that blow our mind? Like, you know, as the St. Louis, and what can I look forward to? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, that's part of the speaker series, which we'll hit in a little bit, but okay. Sean can kind of talk about the exciting stuff that could be on the horizon. Yeah, so some of the, the big changes we're going to see on a national level, um, there's two big uh, areas that are being worked on right now. One is these self-driving cars, oh. um, and that's where you'll be able to get in your car, pension where you want to go, have a cup of coffee, take a nap, whatever you want to do, but the car is going to take you there. That's the only reason you can text and drive. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's right, that's right. Um, and that's coming pretty soon. Um, I actually did my graduate work on that back in the mid-90s, and at that point in time, I thought, boy, I'm never going to see this happen. Wow. Um, but that's we've, amazing. we're close to that technology. Um, Google, of all companies, has, has kind of cracked the code and figured out how to make and that work. And what was number two? And the other one was connected vehicles, and that's an initiative that the U.S. Department of Transportation is working on where your cars will be able to talk to each other into the infrastructure. Oh. So say you're driving up um, to a red light, your cars will know that they're approaching, the signal will know, and we'll um, be able to stop an accident from occurring. Right. That's Perfect. correct. So we're going to talk more about Connected 25, so stay tuned to STL TV Live. We'll be right back with more from Sean and Shay, Connected 2045. Mm -hmm. 